G'day everyone, Steve here from WA Gravity Enduro. We have an exciting round coming up for you this weekend. It is round three of the Chain Reaction Cycles WA Gravity Enduro Series, heading at, uh, taking place at Linga Longa Mountain Bike Park in Bailingham. It's a very exciting place, very exciting location, awesome trails. We were out there a few weeks ago for the International Day of Dirt and I had a bit of a ride around and I was blown away with some of those trails out there. It was a lot of fun and uh, there's going to be a lot of exciting things for you in store this weekend. There is a lot of information, uh, especially because it is an Enduro World Series qualifier as well. I'm going to share with that, all that with you very shortly, uh, just to make sure that you've got everything planned for the weekend and you come fully prepared, raring to go. So we're going to be talking about uh, basically what to bring, uh, getting there, the schedule for Linga Longa Mountain Bike Park, and also the racing that's going to take place on Sunday. So let's get to it. And what to bring this weekend at Linga Longa Mountain Bike Park. Most importantly, please make sure you bring your full face helmet. This is an Enduro World Series qualifier, and it also is an MTBA tier two event. So make sure you bring your full face helmet. If you have raced with us before in the rounds one or rounds two, you have already been issued a race plate. So please make sure you bring your race plate. If you are a new competitor, a new race plate will be issued for you uh, for collection on Saturday or first thing Sunday morning at uh, the center of gravity. So please make sure if you are a previous competitor, you bring your race plate. You can also jump on the event page. There is a little form there that you can fill out. If you do need a race plate reprint, please get that to us. And if you are camping, please make sure you bring some warm clothes for the Saturday night. It can get very, very cold down there in Bailing Up. When you have packed enough warm clothes, please pack some more because you will definitely need it. Okay, so if it's your first time to Linga Longa Mountain Bike Park, it is in a beautiful part of the world, about 20 minutes south of Bailing Up. As you enter the township of Bailing Up and you stop into the, some of the local stores there or fuel up, please make sure, of course, you let everyone know that you are there for the mountain biking and promote mountain biking as best you can. When you get to the south side of the, t of the town, the exit to the right, you'll be veering right. There's actually, there'll be some WA Gravity Enduro signage there to make sure that you're on the right track. So head down that road. It's actually about 20 minutes from there. You'll be going down a uh, road will actually turn into uh, gravel. So uh, it is all still very two wheel drive accessible. So don't worry about uh, needing a four wheel drive or anything like that. You'll actually come to a bridge crossing. You'll cross the bridge and then you'll turn left. Again, there'll be some more signage and arrows out there for you. And then uh, another, say, 20, uh, 10 minutes down the road there, you will arrive at a beautiful big Linga Longa mountain biking sign and uh, just turn to the right and the Linga Longa mountain bike uh, race village will be there on your right. It's very, very important that that, that road that you're entering in on it does become single, uh, a single road and uh, it is all pea gravel and it can be very, very loose and dry as I experienced last weekend. Please take extra care. We want to make sure that everyone stays in one piece coming in and outside of Linga Longa mountain biking area. A few extra facilities at Linga Longa Mountain Bike Park this weekend is Tasty Edibles Cafe. They'll be setting up a coffee shop there and they've also got heaps of food and drinks available for purchase. It is cash only, so please make sure you bring some cash and purchase one of the beautiful foods that are on offer uh, at the, the Tasty Edibles Cafe throughout the weekend. There's also toilets and shower facilities as well, so if you are camping, there are some extra facilities there as well. If you are deciding to camp uh, or shuttle, um, please make sure you head to the Linga Longa mountain bike page and purchase some of the tickets that are readily available on the website as well. All camping and shuttling for the Thursday, Friday, Saturday uh, is available on the Linga Longa mountain bike website. Hey, and the schedule for the weekend. Well, so on the Saturday, it's the mix of both, the push up or the shuttles, but on the Thursday or Friday, you can only purchase the shuttles at Linga Longa mountain bike park. And on Sunday, the 28th of April, it is race day. I'm sure you have all been waiting eagerly for this. Here is the course map. There is a lot going on here. It's a very exciting course map and uh, we have uh, some new things in store for you. Firstly, stage one, Little Miss Enduro, an absolute favorite. And then followed by stage two, Mr. Enduro. There's some very long stages heading down uh, the eastern side of the course and it is very exciting. Uh, there's a lot going on, a lot of switchbacks back and forth and uh, just basically hang on for the ride because it is a heap of fun. Stage three is a brand new stage called Mirkwood. It starts off on the valley and then uh, deviates into Mirkwood, which 
and uh, then basically uh, comes down to the bottom of DDM. There's a little bit of work to, that's currently going on down there just to separate DDM and Murfwood uh, and it'll all be ready for you on Saturday for practice. Stage four is DDM, Devon's Descent into Madness. A whole heap of fun through there uh, with a slight little deviation down at the bottom there as it's uh, joining up very closely to Murfwood. Now, of course, you can see there that Boxer's Blast is not available for this weekend. If anyone knows the weather conditions at Lingalonga Mountain Bike Park, it is the guys down there and they are very aware that at this time of year, the weather conditions are changing very rapidly. After about 12 o'clock, we've ever experienced uh, some very strong winds that come across on uh, across the mountain bike park, and the big jumps on Boxer's Blast are very, very exposed. If you've been an unfortunate uh, victim of having literally your bike blowing out from underneath you, you know sometimes when that wind comes across, it comes across pretty hard. So we want to make sure that uh, you guys are practicing all the stages that are necessary, and there's no curveballs on Sunday race day, especially being an Enduro World Series qualifier. We want to make sure that all the stages are readily accessible and, uh, and made sure that you guys have had practice on all those stages. We don't want to be chopping or changing on Sunday. There's plenty to choose from at Lingalonga Mountain Bike Park and we've also got those two new stages in there as well. So uh, put, the, put, put the pitchforks and, uh, and blow torches away. It's all going to be okay. So then of course we go across to stage five, which is the new stage called uh, Bryman's Blues. Uh, for the main field, you won't be racing the whole of Bryman's Blues. It can, be get, can get a little bit peddly. So uh, Devon, in his magic, has actually done a little bit of a deviation, which is something very brand new for this weekend. And you'll be deviating through some really cool um, uh, part of the, the blue gum through there and uh, some really cool off-camber stuff that uh, Devon does really, really well. And then you'll be finishing off with a whole lot of switchbacks down the bottom of Bryman's Blues to finish off stage five, which will be a hoot. Of course, the Whippets actually will be doing the whole of stage five, uh, so they'll be pretty puffed by the time they get down to the bottom, but I'm sure they'll enjoy it nonetheless. Then we head on over to stage six, Rake and Ride. Uh, this is one of Sam Hill's creations. It gets uh, very uh, wild down the bottom there, some awesome blowing out sections, a lot of uh, raw roots and rocks, so it'll be a whole heap of fun and a very technical stage for you guys that will be hitting it. And finally, stage seven, Huggies. This is another very uh, rough and raw technical stage which is uh, very demanding on the bike and the body and uh, there's a big A and B line down at the bottom there that you guys should really get down there and practice on the Saturday so when come Sunday uh, you will know exactly which ones to do. Okay, as we love to do, we wanna make sure that the course is designed for your category. So what we have done is tailored uh, specific stages uh, and shuttle lifts as well to a particular category. So when it comes to the race day shuttles, uh, you have all, all been nominated a particular number of shuttle lifts that you are permitted to do. Uh, so you are welcome to do all those shuttle lifts. However, if you find the queues are very long, or if it's a, a long way to get over to Race Village and then uh, shuttle up, you're absolutely more than welcome to push up as uh, many other times you want to as well. You will be given a wristband in the morning uh, on collection of your SEAC and that, is, that wristband is very very important for you not to lose or damage because it will be marked with the number of shuttles you have taken so please make sure that your uh, wristband is very clearly your shuttle wristband is very clearly visible when you're approaching the shuttle bus and please make sure it is up and ready to go for that uh, checker to mark that, that uh, wristband as well so the shuttles are running nice and smoothly. Once you load your bike on the bike rack and it is all fastened and secured as, you, as you're liking, please make sure you come around and uh, load onto the, onto the bus as quickly as possible and sit down and please don't move or alight from the bus once you've uh, come in and sat down. You'll be then taken up to the top of the hill, it's about a 10 minute or well, maybe a bit quicker than that journey up to the top of the hill then please make sure you disembark, uh, grab your bike in an orderly fashion and make your way over to the trailhead. Alrighty guys, that concludes some of the uh, details for this weekend's events at uh, Lingalonga Mountain Bike Park in Bailing Up this weekend. We're very excited to get down there and hope you guys are too. Uh, there's going to be a whole lot of stages and racing and mountain biking and all sorts of things going on. It's a great atmosphere down at the Race Village and we really hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, we'll see you very, very soon. Please drive safely to Lingalonga Mountain Bike Park this weekend for an Enduro World Series qualifier.